Hello, officer. Please, I need your help. I have been stolen. Help me, please. Hey, relax. You need to calm down, okay? Tell me. What happened? I was walking down the street and a man pointed a gun at me and took away all my things. He took my cell phone, my bag, my computer because I had a laptop in my bag. He also took my wallet. I had like $10,000 there or more. It happened some minutes ago. If we hurry, I'm sure we can get him. Okay, you just go home, okay? Everything will be fine. Don't worry. Go home? No, I think you don't understand. I was robbed. We need to catch the thief, please. He took all my money and my things. You're not going to tell me how to do my job, sir. Just go home and I will look for your things. But you don't even know my name. How could you know who I am? All right, give me your name and your address, please. Hurry up. My name is Jordan Columbus, and my address is 123 Sams Street. Okay, I got it. Now go home and we will contact you, okay? See you later. But wouldn't the right thing be to go to the police station to make that corresponding complaint? No, that's not necessary. Or well, you can do it if you want. The police station is over there. Just walk for four or five blocks and then turn left. You will see the police station next to the bank. Yeah, but can't you take me there? I am old, you know. I can't walk much. What? You say you can't walk, but you were walking when you were robbed. I'm starting to think that you are probably lying, sir. Do you know that this is a serious crime? I am not lying. It's true. I was robbed. Help me. And I was walking because I went to the bank, which is in front of us. There. I went to withdraw the money from my retirement pension. $10,000. And then I was walking to my house. I live in front of the park. I just need to cross the park, sir. $10,000? <laughs> That's not possible. You're lying. Nobody walks around with $10,000 in their hand nowadays. That doesn't make sense. I'm starting to believe that you are faking a robbery so they can give you $10,000. What? No, of course not. I would never do something like that. Here I have the withdrawal receipt. If you want to see it, I swear I'm not lying. I don't know. It's difficult to believe. And why did you go alone? 
Have you not listened to the government's recommendations for older people? Elderly people are advised not to withdraw money alone. You have to go with a person. I don't know, your sons or daughters, or maybe one of your grandchildren. I don't have any grandchildren, sir. I never had sons or daughters. I got married, but we never had children. My wife never could. Anyway, I don't have any sons or daughters to go with me, and my wife died some years ago. Hmm. All right, but what about a friend or maybe a relative? Many of my friends also passed away. I am alone. I live with my pet, Bobby. I don't have anyone to go with me, sir. That's why I had to go alone. But I really need that money to eat, to pay for my rent and other things. Please. Rent? Do you pay rent? Don't tell me you don't have your own house. People like you, I mean old people, usually have a house. And it is reasonable. Because before it was much easier to buy a house, you bought it with a couple of dollars. Now everything is more expensive. It was easier when you were younger, right? I have to live in my mother-in-law's house. Why? Because I can't afford the house. Do you know how much is a house nowadays? I went to the bank last week. $200,000. Can you believe that? I will have to pay that loan for 30 years. That's not fair. You had it easier, and you tell me now that you don't have a house? <laughs> Officer, with all due respect, that is not important. The important here is my things. My money, my wallet, my laptop. I started with that. I need those things. Please help me. Laptop? Do you know how to use a laptop? That's weird. Study? I don't know. Everything is so weird. I'll have to arrest you for trying to deceive an officer. What? What are you talking about? Please, don't do it. Help me. I need your help. I know. I know this captain. Captain Montes. Yeah, he works near here. If you ask him, he will tell you that he knows me. Please. Captain Montes? <laughs> He's not a mere officer. He is the boss. How can you know someone like him? Now, get out of here, or I will arrest you. Oh my god, these old people, they should be in a nursing home. Hello, officer. I have been told you didn't want to help an old man with a robbery. That's right. Oh, hello, Captain Montes. Me? No, of course not. I was about to run to catch the thief. All right, 
you better start running then unless you want to get fired today i hope you liked this conversation if you could improve your english a little more please subscribe to the channel and share this video with a friend and if you want to support this channel you can join us or click on the super thanks button thank you very much for your support take care